Okay, hi again everyone, Nora Finch here with another video on courage because that was the theme for this week and I could give so many different examples from my personal life but I'm not gonna focus on that in this episode. While I do think that as an introvert who has become more of an extrovert, which I never thought that I would be, learning verbal and so social skills will definitely help you in your personal and professional lives. Okay, as a first responder. So I made a post regarding uh, this podcast, Make Do uh, Suburban Fire podcast, I think it's called. And so bringing attention to Chief Jacob Johnson, who I think uh, showcases a lot of excellent qualities of being a great chief mentor coach. And I would like to see more people like him out there, especially in the first responder culture and in Sacramento. We need more great leaders. And uh, what I wanted to bring attention to though is not only we are not taught about conflict resolution skills, but also being assertive and also coming from a loving place. And we as coaches and mentors out there really do, want, there are those of us who really want to help other people, you know, feel good about themselves and their work and, um, you know, help, I guess, overcome these obstacles and personal challenges in our life. So it does take courage though to go against the grain and step outside the box. It takes, um, there's work in, you know, being able to stop what you're doing and talk to somebody and kind of coach them. Um, but the ways to do that once you learn the skills and um, also being vulnerable and sharing, you know, those things with, with others is gonna help us become more courageous, okay? So I'll talk about later about the things that hold us back from being courageous, but definitely having the words will help. But uh, I wanted to address just by saying that it does take courage to step outside of the box again and American culture and to do these sorts of things and there are people out there that are doing it okay so I just wanted to bring attention to him and that he's doing such great work and I'm so glad uh, that he is doing what he is doing and I hope to see more of this going on as not only as well of course in first responder culture but American culture and I am here to help uh, bring this all about because there's a lot of things that I could talk on and about this if you go back and listen to my um, YouTube videos way back in the beginning I talk about our culture and whatever you want to call if it's programming or conditioning or influencing we have had these outside factors that have affected the way we walk within the world okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and we will uh, dive deeper next time thanks bye